The hip twist exercise in the pain-free program is on page 175. This is a great exercise for elongating through the lateral line of the body, getting some rotation through the middle of the upper back, and also lengthening through the outer hips as well. As Wendy's lying on the floor here, you can see she has her arms straight across, kind of like a T at shoulder level. If she has any problems with her shoulder joints or her neck, and this causes her any discomfort or the tendency to shrug the shoulders, we're going to allow her to modify by bringing her hands slightly to the side so we don't want any engagement of the neck muscles while we're doing this. The purpose of the hands while they're on the floor is really to keep the upper portion of the body fixed and anchored to the floor while the motion occurs below. So as Wendy's laying here, she has her feet, ankles, knees, and hips all lined up together. We're going to take the right ankle and cross it over the left knee. Now as she keeps her hands and her palms down and, and the upper body fixed to the floor, we're going to slowly rotate to the floor by allowing the outside of the left foot to just pivot, get the entire right foot on the floor, the outside of the left leg is on the floor, and now keeping this right foot flat, she's going to apply a gentle pressure away, just causing the hip to open up a little bit. If for some reason Wendy's too tight and the stretch is too intense through here, we would place a, a book, a phone book, or a pillow underneath there to lift the foot slightly off the floor and provide a little bit less intensity in the stretch. Really important that once she's here, she starts to breathe. We can also have her turn her head away from the direction that the legs are going, which emphasizes the stretch a little bit more. When we come out of this stretch, the best thing to do is not completely reverse the process, but instead unhook the foot, bring the knees up as a unit, and then what's really important is before we go to the other side, we're going to make sure that the ankles, knees, and hips are lined up again. As Wendy now takes her left and crosses over her right, so you can see it from the other side, real small point that we want to make here is that she does not slide this foot in as she brings this foot up. This foot stays exactly where it was, lined up with the hips, because it, it, that affects where this foot's going to land when she comes down. So same thing, we're coming down as a unit, nice and controlled, upper body staying fixed. The outside of the right leg is on the floor now, the left foot stays fixed flat on the floor and there's a little pressure away. Really, again, emphasizing, encouraging good diaphragmatic breathing and not short, choppy breaths.